Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is an idea. I want engine swaps to be a thing in 1320 challenge, or at least like, let's say there's a trophy version or special version of the Honda Civic we ever add. I want it to emulate 1320 legends and I am here tonight to find a way to make it work. I think I've done it. So. In 1320 Legends, one of the most popular head-to-head -head cars to race was the Honda Civic SI Hatchback, the 98. There, you could also put a K20. You could swap the K24 into it. Um, other popular cars were the Integra Type R, Integra GSR, and Honda Civic Coupe to do that K24 swap. I wish they would have done a Honda CRV in that game. A, that would be badass. That would be so badass. Maybe we'll find a way to do Honda CRV in this, uh, and then do K24 swap. But I have made horsepower match. I have copied gear ratios directly from Legends. I made the wheels match, made them a little bit smaller because very popular in Legends to run 17-inch wheels. Uh, and I even made the weight match, the curb weight. So I googled the curb weight of a Honda Civic SI in 1998. They were approximately 2,500 pounds. And then I removed two or 300 pounds. Um, I forget what I set the weight to, but I'm not going to check right now. So I also set the rev limit and the red line to be equal to what the K24 is. So if we go in, you can see it says 842. Yes, for you people who remember Legends, there was an 845 setup. It was slower because weight played a big role in 1320 Challenge or Legends. So, but as you can see, Matches up on the dyno. We got the boost controller set to the 42 PSI. Got my gear ratio set up pretty well. Um, we're actually going to change final drive here. But everything is pretty well set up. Uh, wheels and everything are emulated. I am aiming for a 6999. That is the goal. And so far, I'm running like 7.0s. I'm very close. This will probably run a 6.9 as long as I don't bung up the shifts. Oh, that's gonna... If I hadn't... I bunged up a shift. Oh my god. <laughs> you couldn't get any closer. That was a 7.0. You couldn't get closer. Oh, and it didn't help I had engine damage. Let's refill the NOS. Don't pay attention to that money amount. It was a, this is a developer account. Expect things to be wonky, AKA like a K24 Honda Civic. So let's try again here. Should be able to get this ET. I always shift second early. I even had that problem in Legends, so that's nothing new. There it is. Oh my God. I actually might've made the car a little too light. Because it's, if it's possible to hit six nines that easily, the car is definitely too light or the wheels are probably slightly incorrect, but that's all something that tuning could take advantage of as we like edit numbers on the database side. If we ever added this into the game, which I really would like to, I want to do like premium versions of the stock cars. So like a premium version of the Honda Civic would be sick and make it emulate uh, Legends as like a callback. You know, the 842 Max HP with a K24 swap. It would be so much fun. Wow, that... These shifts are insane. I don't re remember them being this crazy on Legends. I really don't. Let's see. Get rid of the repairs here. Fill the NOS. Go back in. We did get our 6.98, but I want to like, you know, two to make it true, right? And you really couldn't full rev this, which is a very popular way to race in challenge. And I think it would be cool if we brought wheel sizes to the game as well. There we go. Yeah, that would have been like number one leaderboard in 1320 Legends. Uh, eh, there were some of us getting like 6.94s maybe, but overall... 
Let's mess with the clutch a little bit. Overall, I should make the car a little bit heavier if we did ever add this to the game. But the fact we got here is freaking awesome. And it shows how similar the racing code is on Legends versus Challenge. Really well, actually. But it's very difficult to shift this thing. And, you know, if it was added as is right now, there would be people in the 6.8s. 100% on the game with this car so i mean it definitely needs some tweaking it should like barely 6.9 i would want it to like 6.98 at fastest with absolutely perfect shifts by some of the best racers i feel like that would be perfect maybe 6.87 or 6.97 there were some people in legends who did hit 6.899s with these no joke it was very rare and they were probably glitching. But like it was there. People did do it. This thing is so much fun, man. Oh my god. I'm going to lower this to 42. There we go. You know what? I'm going to turn up the volume and just let you guys listen. And I'm going to mute myself for a couple races. Live in the nostalgia. I promise you it's worth it. That ET is fire. That would be number one all day on 1320 Legends. Again, like I said, a little bit of tweaking and tuning is definitely needed. But for this thing to run matching 6.9s shows how similar the racing code and physics was on Legends versus Challenge. The only thing I had to change was like wheel size, which makes a lot of sense because we generally ran... I think smaller wheels, except for a few different wheels on the game when it came to Legends. So, either way, I'd like to make this a reality in Challenge. It's a very fun car to race because these shifts are nightmarishly fast, and it's so much fun. So, I guess let's chat about it in the comments down below. Uh, maybe I'll convince the guys in Redev to bring engine swaps or premium cars that have engine swaps make them look visually different enough that uh people can't scam with them so like sending a honda civic hatch race with a k24 to a b series and stealing somebody's car we'll figure it out we'll figure out the semantics but at least i got the stats now we can go from there and make things different and potentially add it way later down the road so i'll talk to you guys later peace out